A small group of students now took center stage. What they did next would poison relations between Iran and the West to this day. فقط این حس رو داشتم که این حرکت تو این حرکت یه رمزی وجود داره یه اتفاقی دیگه داره میفته. The student leader arranged to meet four colleagues at Tehran University. فکر می‌کردم مثلا اگه بتونیم یه کاری بکنیم و امریکا رو به وادار کنیم که شاه رو اخراج کنه از امریکا یه موفقیتی برای انقلاب هست. طرح در حقیقت اشغال سفارت امریکا به مدت دو روز یا سه روز حد اکثر و گروگان گرفتن امریکایی ها توی جلسه من مطرح کردم و دو نفر از دوستان من مخالفت کردند. One who opposed was Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Iran's future president. آقای احمدی نژاد گفت که این کار باعث تقویت شوروی میشه و باعث قدرت گرفتن سفارت شوروی میشه و ما اساسا توی دانشگاه ها و توی جامعهمون مشکل اصلیمون گروه های چپ و مارکسیست هستند. Clerics and communists had been allies of convenience in the revolution. Ahmadinejad feared the communists gaining ground. The three who wanted to seize the American embassy went ahead without him. They approached a cleric close to Khomeini. گفت که چی ضرورتی داره؟ اصلا رهبر انقلاب اگه در جریان باشه شاید کار خوبی نباشه. 72 hours later, students gathered outside the embassy. دانشجویان راهپیمایی می‌کردند. ما توی اون پوشش حرکت کردیم از دو تا چهار راه قبل از سفارت امریکا. باید دستور عملیات رو من صادر می‌کردم به فرمانده عملیات. At first this demonstration seemed to me to be an interruption that it was going to really mess us up on getting our timetable down. You know, it's amazing how you don't worry about the right things at the wrong time. And then when it, it happened very quickly, these hordes started to scale the walls. The acting ambassador was told just after leaving a meeting in the foreign ministry. I had to turn around rather quickly and go back to the and foreign ministry find help from where it mattered and that was the foreign minister himself man don we awalingen goftam ke khob man qablan be shoma dar muzakirat huzuri gofte budam ke agar shoma in kar bokonid bayad montazir che chizi bashe i said i know you warned me against this but we've got i need help only khomeini could sort this out but he was in the holy city of qom and he was taking his daily nap. بنابراین من سعی کردم که با هلیکوپتر که از دانشگاه افسری از پلتفرم دانشگاه افسری ما استفاده می‌کردیم می‌رفتیم. By now hundreds of students had entered the embassy compound. Vastly outnumbered, the US Marines held their fire. They asked me what should we do? And I said, given what you've told me, the degree of Chaos surrounds you. The control that has now slipped away from your hands over there on the compound. You should surrender, and I gave that order. Good evening. The American embassy in Tehran is in the hands of Muslim students tonight. I have received assurances that they will be kept safe and uh, and well. The administration's problem is no one knows whom to blame for the takeover of the embassy. Foreign Minister Yazdi said the Iranian government would do its best to resolve the matter. The foreign minister reached Qom and went straight to Khomeini. من به آقای خمینی نگفتم کیا اونجا هستن گفتم آقا رفتن این کارا رو کردن. آقای خمینی به من گفتن که هر کس هست برو بریزشون بیرون. He set off back to Tehran to carry out Khomeini's instruction to end the siege. At the same time, the students in the embassy set out to get the imam's blessing to continue it. من زنگ زدم به آقای موسوی خوینی ها و گفتم که ما توی سفارت هستیم منتظرتون هستیم. خودتون رو سریع برسونید. نقش واسطه خوبی رو من میتونستم بر عهده بگیرم 
از جمله ارتباط بین دانشجویان و شخص حضرت امام The cleric called Khomeini's home and spoke to his friend, Khomeini's son, Ahmad. Ahmad and the people of Mr. Musavi Khoyni had to the Imam to the Imam and said that these people who did this work are Muslims and Muslims and the people of the Imam. Khomeini now used the students' takeover to advance his vision for Iran. The Imam was the idea that you would say that they had a good place to the Imam. They didn't have to be afraid. اونجا رو محکم بگیرن شما میبینید که الان مرکز فساد امریکا را جوان ها رفتن گرفتن و امریکایی هم که در اونجا بوده گرفتن و اون لانه فساد را به دست آوردن و امریکا هم سلطی نمیتونه بود The students paraded their captives I was taken outside and the hordes were already out there screaming death to the hostages we were like animals in a zoo. Khomeini had breached the basic rule that enables diplomats to work in a crisis. In doing so, he had reversed the decision he gave Foreign Minister Yazdi, who had been at his side since his exile in Iraq. The cabinet now met in emergency session. ما مخالفت اون با گروگانگیری از موزه منافع ملیمون بود آقای دکتر یزدی خاص عنوان میکنه که به لحاظ خارجی و از اینجوری و شرایط اینجوری باید سعی کنیم که دیپلماسی خارجی رو چکار چکار بکنیم که آقای بازرگان با تندی بشه که تو مگه تو چکاری تو فکر میگه تو وزیر خارجه هستی وزارت خارجه توسط دو اداره نمیشه که بسیار برافروخته بودن و تاکید کردن که استعفا میدم که من که در ایشون در خود دولت مطرح کرد که استفا خواهند داد و نه تنها ایشون همه وزرا قبول کردن که دست جمعی استفا بدن Khomeini's support of the students had enabled him to sweep the moderates out of government A month later he assumed the new post of supreme leader giving him in effect total control and the American diplomats remained in captivity We send word to the Ayatollah that if he uh, injured a hostage that we would stop all commerce between Iran and the outside world by blockading their seaports and so forth. We didn't go into detail. And if he killed any hostages, that I would respond with military action. Is Iran now, in effect, at war with the United States? <laughs> What do you mean by war? If you mean our armies against the United States armies, no, there is no such war. If you mean it is a battle of nerves, it is Carter's doing. But if the president says he refuses to return the Shah, and if the Imam says he will not free the hostages. Then what, what can be the answer? He will not discuss it. He's not even going to listen to it. Khomeini rebuffed all America's efforts to get the hostages released. Three months after the embassy takeover, America imposed sanctions on Iran, freezing its U.S. assets and banning its oil imports. ما از اقتصادی نمی ترسیم ما از دخالت نظامی نمی ترسیم اون چیزی که ما را می ترساند وابستگی فرهنگی است They had two or three different interrogation teams that worked me over I was beaten and I was hung by my wrists marched into trees and yeah, of course with a blindfold on They'd tie me up like a pretzel and come in about every 15 minutes, give me a couple of good swift kicks, pull me to my feet, and ask me a bunch of stupid questions. Good evening. For the first time since the Iran crisis began 40 days ago, President Carter has indicated a glimmer of hope in the conference. The hopes were false, and news channels gave a daily reminder of the embassy siege. The Shah finished his medical treatment and left America. 
but Khomeini still refused to release the hostages. It was seen around the world as a, an America no longer capable of dealing with her real problems. It humbled the administration in dealing with problems at home. It had a profound, prevailing, devastating, uh, paralyzing impact upon our government. I don't know how much longer we can sit here and uh, see them kept captive while the uh, situation around them uh, does uh, deteriorate. He saw our honor at stake. He knew that we had to act and he said so. We began to figure out how we could extract the hostages from, from the Iranians. Their rescue plan would test America's armed forces to the limit. It required 14 aircraft to cross hundreds of miles of Iran. After refueling in the desert, eight helicopters would fly commandos to Tehran, where they would storm the embassy. A second group would seize an airbase outside the city. From here, the hostages would be flown home. The plan was known only to the president and a few of his top advisors. The Secretary of State, Cy Vance, was skeptical. One day I remember he said, Fritz, the rescue mission won't work. And I said, Cy, how can you say that? I, he said, I say it because I was on the Armed Services Committee staff for years. I was over in the Defense Department for years. I've been around him a lot. This will not work. When the Secretary of State was out of town, Carter summoned his top advisors. We decided to have a, a national security meeting. Vance was, was in Miami. Christopher, Warren Christopher was his representative. The president turned to me and asked me to review the diplomatic options. Of course, the meeting had taken me totally by surprise. The subject was so secret that Secretary Vance had never been able to share with me the possibility of a rescue. And so I just dug into the back of my head and tried to review what the diplomatic options were at the present time. All the principals, including myself, recommended that we proceed, that the diplomatic and other options were not working. And we voted unanimously to proceed with the rescue mission. To get the commandos in and all 52 hostages out required six helicopters. For safety, they sent eight. The decision was made earlier that if we didn't have enough helicopters to bring all our hostages out, that we wouldn't bring any, because the ones remaining would undoubtedly be assassinated. From an aircraft carrier in the Arabian Sea, the helicopters flew more than 500 miles into Iran. Keeping low to avoid radar, they flew into a sandstorm. Two developed faults. When the others reached the desert rendezvous to refuel, a third was found to be damaged. That left only five. At that point, we decided to withdraw. And we left all our equipment there and, and brought our people home. As they took off to leave, a helicopter collided with the refueling aircraft. The president was immediately informed. I was with the president when we got the call. And the president said, uh, have there been lives lost? And I saw his face turn white. And he said, I feared that. Five airmen and three commandos died in the crash. A human tragedy and, in election year, a political disaster. Congress still knew nothing about the mission. It was the vice president's job to inform its leaders before they heard the morning news. You can imagine those very painful conversations. Awakened from a dead sleep, uh, being told this, and they say, what, what, what are we doing? Where, when, how did we get into this? What do you mean lives lost? I went on television the next morning beginning at 6 o'clock, I believe, to tell the American people what happened, and, and it was all my fault. It was my decision to attempt the rescue operation. It was my decision to cancel it. When problems developed, 
in the placement of our rescue team for a future rescue operation. The responsibility is fully my own. Keen helicopter آقای کارتر را ساقط کرد ما ساقط کردیم خدا ساقط کرد 